Welcome to this quick tutorial on how CARES Act leave can impact grant reimbursement requests. When COVID started, the federal government realized that many small businesses don't offer sick leave to employees. So in an attempt to promote keeping people out of the workplace when sick and enabling them to care for loved ones or kids at home without care, the federal government said that they would pay for the cost of offering leave to employees in some cases. Since getting bills from millions of businesses was impractical, the feds pay for leave by reducing the amount of payroll taxes a company pays. In a normal payroll, say I earn $1,000 of gross pay in a pay period. <laughs> I sadly owe taxes on my earnings, so my employer takes out $200 from my paycheck for my federal income tax and contributions to Social Security and Medicare. That gives me $800 in take home pay. Now, my employer has collected my taxes and they have to match the Social Security and Medicare contributions at their own expense. So by the end of the pay period, they have $300 my portion and their portion of payroll taxes to submit to the federal government. When an employee takes CARES Act leave, it's marked as COVID leave or CARES Act leave in the accounting system. This doesn't change either my gross pay or the amount of my take-home pay. It's just a form of tracking. Then the employer deducts that amount of CARES Act pay from the cost that they have to submit to the feds. So instead of $300, they only have to send $100 to the federal government. The reason that this impacts OVP grants is because the government has already paid for 100% of the CARES pay. An agency cannot have costs paid by two funding sources. Now we understand that the government pays for COVID leave how do we calculate what can be requested for reimbursement from OVP? Items that can be requested from OVP are the employee's gross pay and the employer's match of payroll taxes. These amounts will be offset by the CARES Act payment from the government. Since we know an agency cannot have costs paid by two funding sources and the federal government has paid for these costs by allowing an agency to deduct them from tax payments, we can see that the amount eligible for reimbursement is salary plus employer costs minus the CARES Act deduction. Based on the payroll percentage funded in the grant agreement, we can calculate the amount of reimbursement due to the agency. I hope this was helpful and thanks so much for taking the time to view this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to me.